Hey guys, this is Mr. Games Monkey, um, and this is a short video on how to get easy experience for advanced high ranking level characters. Now, um, I'll just show you the equipment I'm using quickly. It's a plus 5 uh, Q Fury Sword. Um, it takes a while to get it, so it's not a 5 minute weapon. Um, I got it about 40 hours into the game. Um, this is a nice pierce shield. You get it next to the, the Katarina Knight gives you it down in the Blight Town. If you give him some of this purple moss to get across the Poison River. Um, and I've got some of the uh, Black Gold Hen Hood armor. And this is quite important. I've got a Ring of Steel Protection, which is physical attack defense. And I've got a Slumbering Dragon Crest Ring. Now, this makes you completely silent. Um, for you guys that can actually manage your character well without using burden rings, then you can have this on. If you have a burden ring, do not use the protection, use the silence, because you'll need to backstab some of the silver knights if you can. Now in this area, I'm in uh, a Norlondo, which is the lost city. You'll get here eventually, guys, if you're not here already. If you are, congratulations, it's a fucking slog. Um, it's... This area is very much, there's not a lot of enemies, it's, 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 it's very concentrated with uh, high powered single enemies. Now I'll show you these silver knights, they look exactly like the black knight but silver. Um, no surprises there. <laughs> Cutting corners. Oh fuck, right, let me just respawn them because I am an absolute idiot for not respawning them in the first place. Alright, let's go back here. Alright, leave. Go through here again. Sorry, let's try it again. There is a silver knight there. Now he will come over here and try to attack you, and then you just put in the R2 move, and then you do it again. And you should go down like a sack of shit. There you go. I just got hit there once. I mean, I haven't got very high vitality or very high. I've got very quite high endurance, but not very high in vitality at the moment. My vitality is about at level 20, and my dexterity is at 43. So um, I'm doing quite high damage. Now I just got 900 experience, well souls, shall we say, um, for that one guy. Now there's a few guys in here that do the same thing. I'll just show you a spearman because all there is is spearman and swordsman. There's a few bowmen and they are quite deadly, but you don't see many of them. You only normally see the spearman and the uh, swordsman. Now it's easy if you're going to behave. He should be able to do that. I should be able to go in with a hit. There we go. And then you wait for him to do a shield bash, and then you go in with another hit, and there you go, he's done like a sack of shit. Um, so you just get about, you know, 1800 experience for killing two enemies, which is not bad at all, folks. Now, there's about 11 of these enemies in total around this area, maybe 12. Um, they all react differently, I mean, I like the AI in this, the fact that some will block, some will defend, some will go all out on you, some will be very reserved until you hit them, but um, yeah. It's a very, very easy way of making souls. Now, um, I hope this kind of like puts you in the frame a little bit more um, and kind of uh, stops you from looking at those complete morons who seem to think that playing from a base an exceedingly loud volume whilst talking about stuff they don't know about doesn't make them any smarter. In fact, it makes them look inbred. Now, um, yeah, this was Mr. Games Monkey. This was a short tutorial tip on how to make a good experience at high levels. I hope this helps you out. Enjoy guys, I'll speak to you soon.